In our changing world, it is more and more important to work with and understand scientific data and to incorporate the data into GIS workflows. With ArcGIS 2.4, Esri has provided new tools and scripting capabilities to allow scientists to explore data cubes or multidimensional raster datasets. Esri's cloud raster format has been extended to support multidimensional data for easy access to storing and sharing multidimensional data locally or in the cloud. You can add multidimensional information to a Mosaic dataset using the new Build Multidimensional Info tool, and you can transpose or re-index a multidimensional dataset with the Build Multidimensional Transpose tool. ArcPy's raster object now supports multidimensional raster datasets, and several new ArcPy functions and methods have been added to the ArcPy API to allow for scripting with multidimensional raster analysis. You can even utilize map algebra to perform mathematical operations with multidimensional data and generate new multidimensional raster datasets. And you can work directly with raster functions, which have been extended to support multidimensional raster processing. Now let's take a look at a demonstration of sea surface temperature analysis in ArcGIS Pro 2.4. The newly extended cloud raster format and the ability to transpose multidimensional rasters allows users to quickly access data from hundreds or thousands of rasters over a dimension such as time. Additionally, the new multidimensional analysis toolset licensed under the ArcGIS Image Analyst contains two geoprocessing tools that enable users to aggregate and analyze anomalies in their scientific data. For example, here we have a multidimensional raster in cloud raster format containing 35 years of monthly sea surface temperature data for a total of 432 rasters, each with a pixel size of half a degree. I can use the Aggregate Multidimensional Raster Geoprocessing tool to convert my monthly temperature data into a new multidimensional data set with maximum yearly temperature. The result is a multidimensional raster with 35 rasters showing the maximum yearly temperature. This is interesting, but as a climate scientist, what I'm really looking for is information about ocean temperatures that are significantly different from the average over my entire data set. For this, I can use the Generate Multidimensional Anomaly tool. I'll use my newly created yearly maximum temperature data as my input, and I'll calculate the difference from the mean as my anomaly type. The result of this tool is a new multidimensional raster where each slice is a raster showing where in the world we experienced higher or lower than average ocean temperatures. If I use the time slider to browse the anomaly data, I'll notice some areas where pixels in red indicate much higher than average temperatures. To explore further this particular feature off the coast of South America, I can quickly generate a temporal profile of my yearly sea surface temperature data. You'll notice that there are two years that stand out, 1983 and 1997, two El Nino years, which would certainly account for the warming ocean in this area. Taking a look at the southeast coast of Greenland, though, we see a steady increase in ocean temperature. Mm -hmm. 